In this SEO audit guide, we will discuss some of the most useful Google Search Console features and provide detailed instructions on how to turn them to your advantage. Keep watching! Hey everyone, my name is Mir from SEO Power Suite, the all-in-one toolkit that covers every aspect of SEO. This time, let's talk about Google Search Console. What is Search Console? It is a free tool from Google that helps website owners, SEO professionals, and developers understand how Google views their websites and what they need to optimize to improve their visibility on search. The tool shows how Google crawls, indexes, and serves your website. It provides such data as mobile site performance, rich search results, the highest traffic queries and pages, and more. All these help website owners to monitor and optimize search performance. At first sight, it may seem that Google Search Console contains a bunch of random search reports. Some are useful, some could be useful if you know what you are doing, and others have no real insights. On the upside, Google pulls reliable data directly from Google and it's free to use for all website owners. So if you are motivated enough, and especially if you are in a budget, you can do quite a bit of search optimization with this tool alone. So the first thing we should do is to add your website to Google Search Console. Log into Search Console or create an account. Click the upper left drop down bar and click Add Property. Then enter your domain address. You can add the entire new domain or some specific URLs depending on what you want to track. Finally, you have to verify your website ownership. If you have added a new domain, you have no other option but DNS verification. Although the process may differ from different domain providers, Google Search Console has provided clear instructions for any verification case. Click the gray arrow near the Instructions for line to call the drop-down menu. Click your provider and follow the Google Search Console instructions. If you added not the whole domain but a certain URL, you have a wider choice of verification options. The website verification process on Google Search Console usually goes smoothly, so you can start auditing your website soon enough. Still, some errors may occur. Make sure your server responds properly and your website can be accessed. Once you have added your website to Google Search Console, you can proceed with an SEO audit. Ok, so the first thing you should check when performing any SEO audit is whether Google can access all of the pages that you want to appear in search. There are many reasons Google can't access your pages, but sometimes it happens by accident. In this case, some of your most important pages will be left without traffic making your SEO effort worth nothing. To check whether you have any indexing issues, in Google Search Console, go to Index, Coverage, and check the status of your website's pages. Pay attention to the error and valid with warning sections to figure out what's wrong with these pages and how to fix the issues. In Search Console, the error report displays all the cases when Google hasn't managed to index your pages because they either don't exist or have access restrictions. In the example, you can see that the website has three types of indexing errors. Submitted URL not found, submitted URL marked no index, and redirect error. You can click on each error to get a list of affected URLs. From there, you can click on each URL and have it inspected by Google Search Console. This will result in a quick report on the page's current indexing status and possible problems. Now, what about the pages marked with the valid with warning label? If Google indexed your page but is not sure if it was necessary, the Google Search Console will label these pages as valid with warning. In terms of SEO, warnings can bring you even more troubles than errors, as Google may display the pages that you didn't want to show. Indexed, the blocked by robots.txt warning appears when the page is indexed by Google despite being blocked by your robots.txt file. How to fix this? Decide on whether you want to block this page or not. If you want to block it, then add the no index tag to the page and limit access to the page by login request. Remove the page by going to Index, Removals, New Request. Indexed without content means the page is indexed, but for some reason Google cannot read the content, which is definitely bad for SEO. This may happen because the page is cloaked, or the format of the page is not recognized by Google. To fix this issue, check the code of your page and follow Google's tips on how to make your page accessible to users and search engines. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. 
A more comprehensive technical SEO audit would include checking and fixing many other issues that cannot be detected with Google Search Console reports. Such issues may include broken videos and images, duplicate titles and meta descriptions, localization problems, and many others. If you want to run a full-scale technical SEO audit of your website, then consider using Website Auditor. To run a technical SEO audit in Website Auditor, go to Site Structure, Site Audit, and the tool will provide you with the information on all the types of issues that you need to fix, as well as the best practices on how to solve the problem. Unlike with Search Console, the entire audit can be performed from a single dashboard. No need to jump from screen to screen in search of a solution. When you fixed indexing issues, it's time to think about user experience and the ways to optimize it. Poor user experience leads to lower levels of engagement and higher bounce rates. As user activity declines, Google may decide that your pages are becoming less relevant. And when it happens, your positions in search start dropping. Moreover, user experience is a ranking factor, so UX optimization is a must for your SEO strategy. Luckily, Google Search Console provides us with a bunch of UX reports, so we can fix any issues before we get in trouble. And we will start with the Core Web Vitals report. Core Web Vitals is a set of specific factors used to measure loading speed, interactivity, and visual stability. Ideally, Google wants all your pages to load and become interactive in under 2.5 seconds. You can use the report to see which of your pages can hit this benchmark successfully. Once you open the Core Web Vitals report, Search Console will show you how many of your pages need changes and give you a list of discovered issues. The algorithm for investigating all the issues is the same. Click on the issue, click on the URL, go to PageSpeed Insights for a more detailed report and possible solutions. There is just one small note. Google's page speed benchmark of 2.5 seconds is too hard to reach for most websites. In fact, the average page speed across the web is currently at 18 and 8 seconds. This means that you don't have to be as fast as Google says, you just have to be slightly faster than your competitors. To figure out what your real benchmark is, check your competitors' websites using the tool called Page Speed Insights. I will leave the link to the tool in the description section under this video. When it comes to mobile usability reports, Google Search Console shows you the issues that mobile users experience while interacting with your website. Google Search Console briefly describes all the errors so you can easily understand what to fix and how. To get more insights, click on the issue to see the pages affected. Then, click on the URL, test your page to see all the errors, and get useful tips on how to solve them. Once you fix errors, Click the Validate Fix button to initiate validation and remove the error from the report. Google Search Console will usually have a number of other reports under the Enchantment tab. The types of reports you see there will depend on what kind of structured data you are using on your website. You can see that the website we are using for this example has five types of structured data. Breadcrumbs, FAQ, Logos, Products, and Review Snippets. The algorithm is the same. Click on the report, Check out the details and find the right solution. Our next step is to find underperforming keywords. Google Search Console tracks current ranking positions of your keywords. You can use these insights to discover the keywords that are on the verge of achieving top search positions and give them a little boost. To find underperforming keywords in Search Console, go to Performance, Search Results, Enable Total Impressions and Average Position, and scroll down to the table of queries. Now you have to decide which positions to consider underperforming. Some SEOs say that moving your keywords from positions 4-5 to positions 1-3 will bring you the most benefit. Of course, this will require comprehensive optimization of your pages due to high competition. Others believe that moving from page 2 to page 1 is a bad investment of their resources. In this case, slightly optimizing the performance of keywords ranked 11-15 to would be enough. Set up filters to show underperforming keywords. Click on Filter, Position, Greater than, and set the cutoff point of either 3 or 10, depending on your strategy. You can also filter your keywords by impressions. Click Filter, Impressions, Greater than, to eliminate keywords with very low impression count. 
Now Search Console gives you the list of underperforming keywords with the highest potential. Click a certain query and select Pages to see the pages that rank for the query. Search Console cannot tell you what you should do to optimize your page and win better positions, but it will called Website Auditor can. Go to Content Analysis, Content Editor, Optimize existing page content, enter the URL of the page you are working on and its main keyword. The tool will analyze your page against the pages of your top competitors and suggest some ways of improving your content. Optimizing content length, adding more keywords, rephrasing your headings, and creating attractive snippets. The tool lets you edit the content of your page right in browser mode, with further possibility of download the edited HTML file and add it to your website. Another way you can use Google Search Console is to figure out if some of your snippets have lower CTR than is normal for their positions. So our next step will be finding underperforming snippets. The thing is that each position in search results averages a certain percentage of clicks. For example, if you're ranking position 1, then your click-through rate is likely to be around 30%. If it's significantly below 30%, then there might be something wrong with your snippet and it needs urgent optimization. First, go to advancedwebranking.com to see the CTR benchmarks for your type of SERP. Say, if there is an ad or a featured snippet at the top of the search results page, then they will obviously steal some of your clicks. So the first thing to do is to check the CTR benchmarks for the SERPs you're actually competing. Now let's switch to Search Console. Go to Performance, Search Results, Enable Average CTR, Average Position, and Total Impressions. Filter impressions to eliminate low-quality keywords and sort the table by position in ascending order. Scroll the table paying attention to the CTRs that seem to low for their positions and investigate the reason. Turn to Google and type the underperforming query. Low click-through rate may be the result of many factors. SERP may contain a lot of ads and featured snippets that take most of the user's attention and clicks. Or maybe your snippets are not as catchy as those of your competitors. Try using structured data to turn a regular snippet into a rich one and optimize your title and description. Step 5. Refresh old pages. It's natural for a page to lose traffic as time goes by and it becomes outdated. To find out which pages need an update, turn to Search Console search results, click Date, Compare, Compare last 6 months to previous period, Enable clicks, and switch to Pages to see what pages experienced the greatest traffic loss over the last six months. The traffic loss may be a sign of the need for update. Look through the page to check if information there is still up to date, compare it to the competitors' pages on the same topic, check if there are enough keywords, or maybe titles and headings require optimization. Let's move on. Step 6. Audit your backlink profile. Backlinks do matter for SEO. To check how many backlinks you have and what websites link to you, click Links on the left side menu of Search Console. Then click More on the top Link Pages table in the External Links section. Search Link Insights and click on a line to see what domains link to your page. The truth is that Google Search Console has too little information for you to properly evaluate backlink quality. There are no real insights on when the backlink was created what text is used for anchors, and whether a backlink is do follow or not, so information from Search Console may hardly be used in optimizing a backlink profile. If you want to get a high-quality backlink audit, you may use a tool like SEO Spyglass. The tool collects the data with its own backlink index, but connecting your Search Console account to SEO Spyglass will give you a more comprehensive picture of what your backlink profile is. Go to Backlink Profile and navigate through sections to get a good understanding of the quality of backlinks. See Domain Panel to Risk to learn which backlinks should be disavowed. Visit other tabs to diversify anchor text. Track referral traffic. And receive other insights. The tool also lets you view a backlink profile of your competitors and compare it to that of yours. This allows you to find overlooked backlink opportunities and start an outreach campaign. Go to Domain Comparison, 
enter the domains of your competitors. Click Link Intersection to see what domains link to your competitors, but not yet to you. After you're finished with Backlink Audit, it's time to find internal linking opportunities. To see which pages lack internal links and to choose what pages require your attention first, go to Top Link Pages on the Internal Links Report. Search the links in ascending order. Not all pages with internal links are worth additional link juice. Some are outdated, others are simply not very important. Use your own judgment to decide which pages are unfairly underlinked. Another way you can use Search Console is to see if you've made it to Google Discover. Google Discover is an emerging source of organic traffic and many SEOs try to do their best to take advantage of it. The oddity of Google Discover is that its traffic cannot be tracked with Google Analytics. So if you want to see which of your pages have made it to Google Discover, you have to use Google Search Console. Go to Performance, Discover to view your report. What you're likely to see in the Discover report is a few spikes here and there. That's because Discover tends to feature only fresh articles on trendy topics, and these features are quite short-lived. Usually, pages stay up for just one to three days. What you can do is to check which of your topics got featured, spot a pattern, and add more of these topics to your content plan. Keep in mind that Discover is a bonus traffic, and it favors very specific types of content. There is no point in obsessing over it and redesigning the entire content strategy. You may sacrifice your main sources of traffic and end up at a net loss. Moving on, step 9. Check for manual actions and security issues. Google issues a manual action against a website in case a human reviewer determines that a website or a page is not compliant with Google's Webmaster Quality Guidelines. The reasons for manual penalties may be different. Your website contains spam, follows Black Hat SEO practices, has many unnatural backlinks, the content is thin, or maybe the page was clogged. When your website receives manual penalties, some or all of your web pages will be deindexed in search. If you experience a sudden traffic loss, the first thing to check is the manual actions report in Google Search Console. Normally, it will look like this. But it may also look like this, which means that you need to take actions urgently. To investigate the issue, click on the line to see the details and take action. Click Learn More to look at suggested steps to fix the problem. To deal with the issue, you have to fix all the affected pages. Partial fixing won't solve the problem. Once you fix the issues, click Request Review and describe what has been done. A good request explains the exact quality issue on your website, describes the steps you've been taking to fix the issue, documents the outcome of what you've done. Google will send you a notification when your request has been received, accepted or rejected. Don't send another request until the previous one is answered. This will not speed up the review process. As for security issues, they arise when your website is hacked or could potentially harm a user by phishing attacks or installing malware on a user's computer. The pages with security issues may appear in search with a warning label. The algorithm is the same as for manual action issues. Go to the security issue report in Google Search Console, investigate the details of the issue, fix them all, and then request a review. Step 10. Add a sitemap of your pages. A sitemap is a document placed on your website to help Google navigate through the structure of your website. It tells Google where your pages are located and how often they should be crawled. Sitemaps speed up the indexing process as they make it easier for Google to find the pages. To add a sitemap or several to your website with Google Search Console, go to Sitemaps, enter sitemap URL, and click Submit. A sitemap file must not be larger than 50 MB and must not contain more than 50,000 URLs. Note, however, that a sitemap is not a guarantee that Google will crawl your website accordingly. A sitemap is just a recommendation for Google which may or may not be taken into account. The last step in our today's guide sounds like this. Index new and updated pages. Forced indexing will make your page appear in search results faster than if you just wait for Googlebot to find the page on its own, so your SEO strategy will start bringing the results faster too. Once you update or edit a page, you can ask Google to index it via Search Console.
Enter the URL into the search field of Google Search Console and click Request Indexing. Indexing may take from a few minutes to a few days, still it's faster than the organic indexing. Over the past few years, Google Search Console has added quite a few useful features and has grown into a fairly useful website audit tool. It still has ways to go and falls short of commercially available SEO tools in terms of data and convenience. But if you're on a budget, enough search optimization can be done with Search Console alone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next video. Goodbye.